God give me to drink Give me to drink, give me to drink, give me to drink, give me to drink. My family is thirsty, God. Give me to drink. The nations need water. Make me a well. Make me a well. Make me that well. And give me to drink. Hallelujah. When she said, give me to drink, she said, Lord, I'm willing to be that well that will carry the water to the city. I will carry the water to the city. The water was at the well, but she became the well that the city needed. Is there anybody that can say, Lord, make me that well that will go to the city and give thirsty men to drink? Hello and welcome to Community Worship Center, where the word of God is the broken bread and the naked truth. Join us for our service already in progress. This anointing in the room. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll do the offering afterwards. But are you ready? Oh, the Holy Ghost, I'm in store for the are you ready for a move of God? Are you ready for a no word? Hallelujah! That Apostle Venice Lovelace. Give her some love as she comes. With a word from her mind. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody, let's just Hallelujah. lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. 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 If the praises was for me, I would understand. Hallelujah. 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 If the praise is worse for me, then I would understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Glory. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory. The word of God declares, let everything that has breath Glory. praise Glory. the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God declares, let everything that has breath Glory. praise Glory. the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. He inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Come on. I said because you made it in the house tonight. That's enough to give God praise. Because you made it through that door tonight. That's enough to lift your voice. And begin to say thank you Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Do anybody in here tonight have a anyhow praise? Do anybody in here tonight that somebody don't have to pump and pride you to praise God? But as the songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, the soul cries out. Oh, do anybody have a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Do anybody have a thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving you. Thank you, Lord, and I'm a son for tonight's encounter. Thank you tonight, Almighty God, for your grace. Thank you tonight, Almighty God, for your mercy. Thank you tonight, Almighty God, and I'm a son of Hallelujah. 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 Come on, it's nothing good that we have done. But as you heard, tonight's title, tonight's, it, it, it is an annual encounter revival. Glory to God. So that means that anything that is dead must come back alive, right? Hallelujah.
hallelujah when something is being revived that means that if the fire is out that means fire is going to light it tonight again so whatever you came in here with or whatever you came in here for I dare you tonight just to empty yourself and say Lord wash me and cleanse me and fill me up again set me up please again give me an encounter tonight that is beyond Lord God Almighty the connection of man but I need a supernatural encounter tonight hallelujah glory to God glory to God glory glory to God Almighty for he is all powerful tonight when you give me a second, may I have to big up God. Hallelujah. May I forget God look up prayers. Yes. I'm sorry. Because yes. he is worthy tonight. He is worthy tonight. Worthy. He, is worthy tonight. he is worthy tonight. He is worthy tonight. He is worthy tonight. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're worthy. God. 
Let me tell you something. You see, when we come into the presence of God and we find ourselves that we get weary when it comes on to worship and to giving God praise, we're okay to dance and clap. But when it comes on to pressing into his presence, telling him how he's good and how he's awesome and how he's holy. Sometimes you know when it's not about you, it's hard for you to give somebody else the praise. But the Bible says that the elders of God Almighty and the angels, they bow before him day and night, crying holy, 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 are you Lord, God Almighty, the one who is and is to come. My God Almighty, do I have any worship? tonight in the room for the word that God declares that he's seeking to worship us that they that worship him Lord God Almighty you must be able to worship him in spirit and in truth Hallelujah. glory Hallelujah. to God I'm going to go into the word but before I do I just want to give honor to the angels of this house bless you bishop Bless you, woman of God. Bless you, pastor. Hallelujah. I want to give greetings to my wonderful husband, Prophet Lovelace. Hallelujah. Oh, before I do that, sorry. And to every other leader that is in the house, glory to God, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to see how excited I was to go to my husband. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Amen. I greet my husband in the mighty name of Jesus. I also greet uh, the great vine healing and deliverance restoration family that is here tonight with us. Uh, Minister Rose, God bless you, woman of God. I greet you, Minister Latoya. I greet you, Minister Samantha. Evangelist Shemika, Sister Allison. Lord God Almighty, Sister Sherry. Lord God Almighty, God bless you all. And to each and every one of you that is here tonight, may the Lord bless you. Let us pray so that we can go into the word tonight. God, as we come before you one more time, God, I humble myself before you, Almighty God. I take not this opportunity lightly to stand before your people, but Almighty God, I ask you to remove my mouth, remove my tongue, and you speak through me to speak to your people, Almighty God. Let them not see me, but let them see you. Let them not hear me, but let them hear you, Almighty God. I pray tonight will be truly an encounter for the lives of your people. Almighty God, that they will not come in here and leave the same way that they came. That they will understand tonight that their dependency is not on me, but it's on you, Holy Spirit. The one who is more than able to do, oh God Almighty, exceedingly abundantly, above all we can ask or think of according to the power that worketh within us tonight. God, I move out of your way. I decree so that you can increase. Almighty God, have your divine way in this house tonight as we give your glory, honor, and praise. We say amen and amen and amen. Come on, just bless the Lord as you take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God glory tonight. God is awesome tonight. Come on, somebody, isn't God good? I said, God is good tonight. People of God, I can only be honest with you all. Just because I have this preaching engagement, glory to God, I have another one that's coming up in Jamaica. All of a sudden this week, out of nowhere, everything in the head just started acting up. I've been having headaches from the week start. My throat, everything. But I said, God, what a word. What a word you gave us. Glory to God, not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God, because tonight, I'm going to need your spirit. I can't depend on me, I'm going to be depending on you. So tonight, I want you guys to pray me through. Uh, listen to me, because anytime you see warfare like that, come. And I tap the body and the throat because this is, this is where the word is coming from. You understand that the enemy is trying to stop somebody's breakthrough. But if I was like you, I tell you, I would have tell my neighbor, give me a pass. Because whatever the Lord has for me tonight, I'm going to get it. Amen. I would tell somebody, listen to my cup is open, ready to get what God has for me. Because listen, when you see warfare kicking up like this, something is about to happen. Something is about to break forth. Something is about to shift. Glory to God. But tonight we understand the scriptures that says that the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. But it's mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. So while I'm up here, just say God bless her. God strengthen her. Amen. 
Glory to God. As you know, tonight's theme, as I said earlier, from Zechariah 4, verse 6. Amen. And it says that it's not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God. But tonight I'm going to be reading from the amplified version. I pray so you guys can understand me, right? I don't need to talk too much patwa. Right? Oh no good. Oh no good. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read from the amplified version. And it says here, Then he said to me, this continuous supply of oil is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, prince of Judea, saying not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, but by my spirit of whom the oil is a symbol, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. I just want to give you a quick rundown of who Ze um, Zerubbabel was and who Zechariah was. Amen? Because I don't believe in just... Jumping in a part of the scripture and don't give people a little back. You know, I'm in context of what we're coming from. Amen. So Zechariah, he was a Jewish leader. Amen. Zechariah, no, Zerubbabel, sorry. He was a Jewish leader. He was the king of Judea before the Babylonian exile. Amen. He led approximately 42,000 Jews back to Jerusalem from Babylon after the exile. He oversaw the reconstruction of the second temple in Jerusalem with the help of Joshua, the high priest, right? Zechariah, him now, he's a prophet and he was a priest. Glory to God. He came now to return, he came alongside Zerubbabel to return to Jerusalem to build and to participate back in the building of the temple that was ruined. Amen. He received visions and he received messages from God to give to Zechariah, to Zerubbabel, sorry, to give to Zerubbabel, to encourage him and to encourage the Israelites to build back the ruins. Amen. Of where they were coming from. Glory to God. I want us to really focus on this part of the scripture. Because this is the part that really stood out to me the most. I know that when we hear it's not by mind nor by power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. That is what we, you know, we, we, from, your, from your young girl to know, I always I hear that part. But I never really took time to really look into this part. When it says right here, it says, Then the Lord said to me, This continuous supply of oil, it's the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, prince of Judah, saying that it's not by my nor by my power, but by my spirit of whom the Lord, of whom the oil is a symbol. Glory to God. When we talk about the oil, I want us to focus on the oil. Because this is the thing. We have a, we have a, we have a, um, we, they have a saying that say, you know, look more oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Amen. A little more oil in my lamp, keep it burning till the break of day. Sometimes we don't understand that as people of God, we need the oil of God. Sometimes what we're running from, the process that is supposed to press the oil through us, we try to run from it. But it is to pull some oil out of you in order for you to go to your next. But the enemy will trick you and let you believe that you can go to the next without having any oil. Without having the spirit of the living God. Let me let you understand the oil represented the spirit of God. I'm not talking about just a bottle of olive oil where you throw up on somebody. I'm talking about the spirit of the living God. Somebody just touch your name and say, we're talking about the spirit of the living God. The Bible said that God said to Zechariah to tell Zerubbabel that this is a continuous flow. It's a continuous flow and it's going to be a symbol to you that you cannot do this without my spirit. You cannot do this by your might. You can't do it by what you know. You can't do it by your connection. But you're going to need the spirit of the living God. In this season, we find a lot of people who run away from the spirit of God because when the spirit of God comes, it brings forth our God Almighty revelation. When the spirit of God comes, it God Almighty, it mash up the plans of the enemy. When the spirit of God comes, it empowers you to do what you couldn't do. When the spirit of God comes, it mash up friendship. When the spirit of God comes, it mash up churches. When the spirit of God comes, it mash up relationship. When the spirit of God comes, because what you don't want to let go of, the spirit of God will empower you to let it go. Amen. Touch somebody and say, let it go. Because some of us, we're holding on to some things that God is saying, let it go. 
from when God is telling you to let you go so that you can step into your new. But because you're only depending on what you know. Oh God, I don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh God Almighty, I don't want this to happen. Oh God Almighty, and everything the enemy throw in front of your face for you to look at something else that God is not even talking about. Because God is letting you know, listen to me, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. And in this season, the people of God, we need strength more than before. We need the spirit of the living God. The problem is this, there is so much spirit that is roaming in this earthly realm. There's so much voices that speaking, but can you differentiate the voice of the living God? There's so much things that's happening. It looks like God. It sounds like God. It performs like God. It speaks in tongues. It quotes scriptures. It do everything like God. But how can you differentiate Lord God Almighty, the spirit of God, if you don't have him on the inside of you? Because the Bible says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have to ask yourself in this season, what is it that I am carrying? Who am I being a host to? Who is Akatora Bashaya? Who is occupying my body? Who is occupying my inner man? That when I come into contact with certain the things I will know that this is not God this could never be God this is not the spirit of God this is not the characteristics of God but the thing is that we don't know no different because we're moving by our might we're moving by our own power and not by the spirit of the living God. The Bible said in the book of Revelation, one thing I have against the church is that you allow Jezebel to come in front of the church portraying herself as a prophetess. But if you truly had the spirit of the living God, man of God, Jezebel could not go upon the pulpit in the near margins because somebody would have picked it up and said, no, that's not God. No, no, no. Our God Almighty, we are the weeping mothers. We are the wailing women. We are the men that are ready to go down back again and pray and say, God, I won't move until you bless me. I won't move until I hear your voice again. Lord God, I messed up along the way. The Bible said you was running a good race. But who cut you off? Something hindered you. Some of us, we have been hindered. And that's how we find ourselves. Jumping at every conference, going on every live because we want to hear another word. But let me tell you something, people of God. When you have the spirit of the living God on the inside of you, Lord God Almighty, he speaks and he is your troubled mind. Lord God Almighty, I know much time. But that woman, I don't get a phone call. But when I sit down and the Holy Spirit begin to encourage me, Lord God Almighty, what I read last week begin to bubble up in my spirit. It's the word of God, which is the spirit of God. Some of you don't understand. Some of you are waiting for a voice to say, Hello, sister. I'm talking to you. Thus says the Lord thy God. No. Sometimes it's the very word that you read. Oh, God Almighty. Sometimes it's the very word that you read. That is the spirit of the living God encouraging you. I remember one night I went to my bed, man of God. And it was a week straight that I was waking up. Frustrated about the bills. Not understanding how this was going to be. And when I went to my bed one morning before I woke up. I hear those Holy Spirit said to me. Say, what then shall we say to these things? That if God be for us. Then who can be against us? And that just gives me a little more strength to continue. The reason why we have so much jelly back Christians that are easily ready to give up, easily ready to backslide, easily ready to sell out themselves for any little dollar that comes is because you don't have the spirit of the living God that's on the inside of you. You believe that the spirit of God means that you need to get another prophecy. That doesn't mean that God is with you. Lord God Almighty, because gift comes without repentance do you hear me a witch can see you on the side of the road woman of God and a witch can say to you woman of God you know that from the day you was born I saw I see that God has ordained you to be a prophet to the nation huh? and because we're so gift hungry we love to run down the gift 
We love to run down the might. And we love to run down what we're seeing. Oh God Almighty in the church. I said it to the church last week Sunday. You know, that when you look within the sanctuaries nowadays. We're literally opening up a platform for entertainment. People only want to be entertained. But anywhere the spirit of the living God is. Correction must come. Anywhere the spirit of the living God is. Lord God Almighty realignment must come. Anywhere the spirit of the living God. If you're dry. If you're thirsty. He said, come and drink from the well that shall never run dry. But the enemy will trick you and let you believe that the look of bitter water we have in your mouth can sustain you for the journey that is ahead. The enemy will let you believe that because you can see Ian just falling out the sky, and because you can prophesy a man from here to all the way to Timbuktu, that means the spirit of the living God is with you. But I want somebody to know that God can have you working and you have been fired. You can be working and doing all these things for God as you say. But when the Holy Spirit tell you to move in obedience, when Holy Spirit wants to talk to you, when Holy Spirit wants to come and say, come let us reason together. Because there's something that I must show you. But the thing is that we have been moving by our own might. And your might is telling you, listen, I'm tired and I'm weary. God, I can't get up this morning. Anybody guilty? Anybody come on? As I stand up, I'm me guilty. God, I can't get up this morning, man. I go work seven days a week, God. I'm tired. But you don't know what is around the bed. You don't know, Katora Bashaya, what is waiting on you. And God is saying, I'm supplying you for the morning to come. I'm giving you what you need. Lord God Almighty, the songwriter said, Great is your faithfulness. All that I have needed, thine hands has provided. Our only ways of provision, we believe that it's just to have something tangible. But not understanding that when the Lord can open up your eyes. And you can see the plans of the enemy. You can see the traps that the enemy set for you. Lord God Almighty, who can help you do that but the Spirit of God? Let me get into my notes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, somebody just give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to put our focus a little bit more, as I said, on the oil. Hallelujah. Oil is used when we look in the physical. Oil is used for various reasons. We know that oil, you use oil to do oil changes. You use oil to do different, different things. Oil is something that keeps things moving. You understand what I mean? Oil is something that, you know what I mean? If you aisle up yourself and decide, say, you're going to jump on something or skip, skip through something, you'll slide right through it. Right? Oil, oil, oil allows you to, 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 to move from out of the grip, out of certain things, and oil keep things going. Right? I, do I have any mechanic in here tonight? When you know what an alternator them said, that's what, that's what it's called, man. I got an alternator when you're, when you're changing that belt and when the oil is going, it keeps on going smoothly. But when the oil is running out, you realize it, it's either something is going wrong with it. Amen? That is where we find ourselves. Sometimes we find ourselves that we cannot keep, we can't flow. We can't flow, we just stuck at one place. And no matter how, you might come to church and pass off on the flame a little bit. Some are still off. Something still off because why? You're, you're trying to drink from my supply. But the Lord said he has your own supply. If you only go to God for yourself. Lord God Almighty you have your own vein that you can drink from. You have your own vein that you can receive your supply from. But man has become so dependent on man. I remember the Holy Spirit said something to me when I first started, started to, you know, go into ministry and do whatever God told me to do. The Holy Spirit said to me, say, your mandate is to turn man back to me, not to yourself. Don't ever go out there and begin to believe that you're God over my people. I am God. Lord God Almighty, when we believe that we are the one that own people, when we believe that we are the one that the oil flows from, it's a lying spirit. God is your source. Lord God Almighty, and he said, the source is a continual flow. That means that nothing can block it. Nothing can hinder the flow of what God has for you. Nothing can hinder the flow of the spirit of the living God. The only person can hinder it is you. When you sit, it begins to move. Let me give you a quick example. 
The Bible said the woman, amen, go and borrow some, some jars from different places. And the Bible declares that the more jar she kept bringing is the more the oil kept flowing. Lord God Almighty, do somebody hear what I'm saying? I said the more the jars was empty, it's the more the oil was flowing. But if you find yourself that you're filled with malice and hatred, if you find yourself that you're filled with hypocrisy, if you find yourself that you're filled with loss, if you find yourself that you're filled with something else, how can you contain what God is about to pour out? How can you, contain, how can you be a vessel to receive from the Holy Spirit? You're already full. So if you're already full, what is he going to do? The Bible said that every time she would bring a jar, the aisle fill it up. She moved that one day, I just a flew. She moved that one day, I just a flew. She moved that one day, I just a flew. It was until she ran out of jar, that's when the oil seized up. We're living in a time, mommy, and we're living in a season where it seems like the oil of God has stopped. Why? Because people are so filled, full up of themselves, full up of their foolishness, full up on focusing on things that has nothing to do with the kingdom of heaven. We are bypassing the true mandate, the true assignment. Instead of working together, we begin to compete with each other because your might tell you say you're stronger than me. Your power. Tell it say you're more anointed than me. But if you had the understanding of what the kingdom truly was, the Bible said that the kingdom that is divided by itself cannot stand. But the enemy will trick you and let you believe that I'm your enemy. When I'm, I'm not your enemy. But then now when you begin to look into your background, you have some things that you need to go before God with. To let God heal you. To let God clean you up. So that when he begin to pour in you. Nothing can contaminate that oil. Nothing can contaminate the spirit of the living God. Listen to me. The spirit of God don't dwell where there is darkness. Oh God almighty. We have to get it together church. We come. And because we believe that a man cannot see what is on the inside of you. You come with your vessel saying that you're ready to receive. But then when you look and when you really, really evaluate yourself. You say to yourself, say, this is just another conference. This is just another revival. It's not just one more. And when you're leaving, well, you did nice, you know. Yeah, man. No, a person never preached like the first lady. And, 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 and the man never preached like the next person when he come. And we begin to criticize. But instead of tapping into the realm of the spirit. And understanding the assignment. That when we call on the name of the living God, he shows up. That when we call him, he comes. Lord God Almighty. And when he comes, he's not coming empty handed. But when he comes into a room. And if the people are already filled. There's nothing that he can pour. Because you're not in the space or the mindset to receive but it's not by might nor by power but by the spirit of the living God come on glory to God hallelujah 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 glory to God as I said before oil Oil was used for different things in the physical. We understand that when it comes down to oil, olive oil and stuff like that in the, in, in, the, in the body of Christ, we know we use it to anoint leaders, we anoint people, we pray for the sick. We use it to do different, different things as well. But then tonight, as I said to you, we're not talking about normal oil. We're talking about the spirit of God. We're talking about the continual steady, steady, do you hear me? Steady flow, not wavering. Not moving, not double-minded, but steady flowing. Lord God Almighty, that even Pastor Jacob, if you step out of alignment, the oil is still flowing. That even if you step out of alignment, all you need to do is say, Lord, forgive me. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me. And step back into alignment. And the oil will continue to flow. Because if you believe that because of you, God will not allow his oil to flow. Our heaven has shut his door. Listen to me, the Bible said, when Elijah was running from Jezebel the Bible said he thought that he was the only one that was left but God said to him, said, listen, 
it. I have 17,000 that have not even soiled their garment. And sometimes when we believe that it's all about us, God has to buffle our minds to let us know that he can replace us because the oil must flow. The oil must flow. Somebody just say that. The oil must flow. I said the oil must flow. The oil must flow. Hallelujah. Jesus. I said the oil must flow. I said the oil must flow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I said the Spirit of God. When the Spirit of God now begins to intervene into the affairs of man, there must be some type of change. There must be some type of encounter. Lord God Almighty, that you said to yourself, I can't go back doing the same thing that I used to do. I can't go back to the same places. Even though flesh want to act up and kick up. Flesh want to pull you back into some places. But when you understand that the spirit of the living God is on the inside of you. When you understand Lord God Almighty that God is watching you. When you understand that who you are. Lord God Almighty you will understand that what the enemy is planning to do. It cannot work. Come on. I said it can't work. Come on, somebody, man. Believe it, no man. I said it can't work. It no matter what Satan is trying to do, it will not work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in Psalms 18. Let me tell you something. Let, let us go to some quote in our scripture. The Bible says, he will teach our hands out to war. He will allow us to run through a troop and leap over wall. Remember now the Bible said we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. But sometimes in the realm of the spirit, woman of God, you don't know what's in front of you. You don't know that if God should really open up your eyes, you are surrounded on every side. Ah, oh, God Almighty, and the enemy has his mouth wide open to swallow you. But the spirit of the living God is on the inside of you that will allow you to jump, that will allow you to run, that will allow you to skip, that will allow you to hop, that will allow you to go and recover all. Lord God Almighty, the spirit of the living God is upon you that the spirit of the living God can keep you that yea though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil but if you move by your might and if you move by your power fear will overtake you but when you understand Lord God Almighty that the God of all gods the ruler of all rulers the king of all kings the Lord of all lords is on the inside of you and no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper so when your mind begin to speak to you and when things around you look like you're defeated all you need to do is stand there and all you need to say flow flow holy ghost flow holy ghost flow holy ghost flow Sunday flow flow head up Sunday I said all we need is just to tell him to flow. To tell him to flow. Because if you can look at yourself, imagine me and you know. Lord God Almighty in the physical realm, mommy. If me see a big wall, me can't jump over that wall there. Oh God Almighty, from when you see me, you say, after she can't reach over it. But when God begins to slap his supernatural, when he begins to slap his super and my natural, he begins to give me strength. Lord God Almighty, oh God Almighty, strength that I never thought that I had. Oh God Almighty, some of you don't understand that there's some things that you face in life. And if it had not been for the spirit of the living God, Satan would have laugh but God said Lord God Almighty David said Lord let them not say ha 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 our eyes have seen it because when the spirit of the Lord is on your side who shall you fear who shall you be afraid though my enemy comes upon me on every side to eat of my flesh they shall stumble and fall the war 
anger should rise up against me. In this will I be confident. I will not fear. 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 I can't call shut. I will not fear. I said, when the spirit, I'm talking about the spirit of God. I'm not talking about the spirit of man. I'm not talking about no Obia Walker. I'm not talking about no Nicomancy. Because your power and feeling portion run out. You see, some man walk from with God ring. Every year or a couple of years, they have to reload it up in order to keep protection. But when God is on your side, you don't need to reload up now. All you need to do is stand in the will of your Father. All you need to do is depend on the Holy Ghost and He will flow. He will allow you to live through some things, man of God. We kill enough people already. If someone of a testify, if someone of a testify, Lord God Almighty, some things that took out some people years ago, and you found yourself that you was in the same position. You found yourself, Lord God Almighty, that you almost lost your mind. Oh God Almighty, the songwriter said, the devil thought that he had me. But Jesus, he came and he snatched me by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit. spirit. He came and he snatched you. Some of you don't even understand that literally hell had his mouth open and enlarged waiting to swallow you up. Lord God Almighty, do you believe that when the three Hebrew boys was in the fire that they was by themselves? No, they was not. Oh God Almighty, do you believe that when Daniel was in the lion's den, he was by himself? Do you believe that when Moses was bringing the children of Israel, oh God Almighty, over, he was by himself? It was by the spirit of the living God. The Bible said when Moses began to look in front of him, he saw a red sea. When he began to look behind him, he saw Pharaoh and his army and he started to fear. He started to tremble. His might and his power started to kick in. But then the spirit of the living God said, Use what's in your hand. What do you have in your hand? Stretch out that rod. Stretch out that word. Lay down for your belly. Go back in prayer. Go back in fasting. Go back to the manufacturer. The one who supplies all the oil. The one who won. The oil factory. Hey. Hey. Hey, I said this one. He owns the factory. He owns all of it. He said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Do you know that sometimes God will just allow you to go and flex your own muscle? To make you realize that you now have no power. To make you realize say, he is the one that created you. And now you yourself. Lord God Almighty, do you know that God will allow you to flex your local gift them? You sing, you do all of these things and you prophesy, you do all of these things. But then when you go home, hell I beat you. Oh God Almighty, demons are weird upon you. But God will give you strength to stand. Let me tell you something, people of God. Warfare is not an easy something. But you see, when you have the spirit of the living God, oh God Almighty, you're going to step into some things. That man will tell you that the devil had killed someone. But Lord God Almighty, no weapon can prosper against you because you're under the shadow, you're under the wing of the Almighty, and He will keep you, Lord God Almighty, by His Spirit. By 
by his spirit. Somebody just say, keep me Lord. Somebody just say, keep me Lord. Somebody just say, keep me Lord. Say, spirit of the living God, keep me. Not by what I know. Not by what I've experienced. Not by where I work. Not by my marriage. Not by the promotion. Not by the food in the fridge. Not by the anointing that's on my head. But keep me by your spirit. Oh God, I hear the praise and worship I say. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. For there's a race that I must run. And there's a victory to be won. Give me power. Every hour, keep me, Lord. Keep my mind. Keep my heart. Keep me, Lord. Keep me, Lord. Keep me, Lord. When I want to let go, keep me. When I want to run, hold me. When I want to backslide, put your hands all over me. By your spirit. By your spirit. Listen to me. It's easy to come to church and perform, you know. Man of God. You see, when you learn the church lingo, woman of God, how are you? I am blessed and highly favored. That time, they did not even know say life. I saw life, I kick you. Woof. I saw life, I box you. Calf. I saw life, I lick you down. Bloof. Lord God Almighty. And only if they knew only if they knew that when they hear you say, I heard a woman of God say, when you hear me say, it is well. That's for the mature believers. Because sometimes when you look around, man of God, everything now, it might not be well. But because I know who my source is, because I know where my strength lies, it is well. It is well. It has to turn around. It must turn around. It won't always be like this. The Lord is perfect that which concerns me and sooner 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 point at your neighbor and tell your neighbor sooner or later it's about to turn be not dismayed be not dismayed be not dismayed listen to me I'm here to encourage somebody tonight to the mommy. I said be not uh, dismayed listen all if you get up tomorrow and you see them take up the care be not dismayed some of us don't understand that this is bigger than this world because the Bible said what does it profit a man to care in this whole world and lose his one soul but not understanding in order for you to keep your soul it must be kept by God you cannot keep your soul intact you cannot keep your soul but it's the Lord God Almighty who will keep you come on that's right man of God he that keepeth Israel he neither slumber nor sleep but this is by his spirit the Bible says that we have to get to a place where we begin to renew our minds. Pull every thought into captivity that will exalt itself against the mind of God. Sometimes you can stand in the way of God, but what you believe that you know. Sometimes God will tell you to go east, and you're saying, God, me care, I go cause me not have the money. Sometimes God will tell you to go north. And you say, God, I can't go because I don't have nowhere to live. Oh, God Almighty. But if you understand that the spirit of the living God, he's a spirit. He is omnipresent. He's infinite, man of God. He can be here. He can be there. He can be everywhere. So when you sit down and worry, God can be in the mind of somebody else. Telling them, remember, Minister Rose. Remember, Seleko Torabasha. I'm going to put you in this position that when this woman there's a woman that's going to pass by your way in five months from now and I want you to prepare 
hear yourself because everything that she needs you have it even though you don't know what God is doing but if you say Lord lead me wherever you lead me I will go that means that you have to give up yourself that means that you have to give up your controlling ways that means you have to let go and let God that means that you have to move out of God's way that means that your education shouldn't stand in the way of God because he said he used the foolish things to confound the wise and sometimes some of it too wise when it comes on to God because God will tell it to do this and you say God I can't but God is saying I'm not depending on your ability but I am able I am the God that he let thee I am the God that will restore thee I am the God that will make all things new I am the God that will restore all everything that the plague and the canker worm has eaten up I God by my spirit will restore you I God by my spirit will keep you I God by my spirit will burst you forth I God by my spirit will launch you I God by my spirit will open the gates Sometimes what happened when it comes down to mankind, this world teaches us that our money can buy things. And if, if someone we not have no more sense in the man of God, we think that we can't buy, we ain't evil. But thank you, Jesus. Say no money it takes for going to evil. Because probably me and you wouldn't reach there. We not have them that type of money there. Yeah. Probably me and you wouldn't reach there. Because we not have them that type of money there. Yeah. The Bible said, the man was waiting at the gate of beauty. He was just waiting for somebody to give him some man of God. Me, 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 me Liam, me can't walk. So my might and my power tell me say, lay down and beg man. That's all you're gonna make it true. And because he's been there for so long, but the Bible said that Peter was passing by. And the man of God said, Jesus Christ, silver and gold. That's right, man of God. Let me catch that one there. Somebody with oil was walking past. And he said, silver and gold, have I none? But such I have, I give unto thee. Come on, girl, take up your bed and walk. 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 He had oil, a consistent, a continual flow of oil that he could have given. Such I have this anointing, this oil that I carry is worth more than silver. It's worth more than gold. It will give you what you've been looking for. It will give you what you've been sowing for. It will give you what you've been passing for. It will give it unto you. Hey God. Hey God. I said silver and gold. I don't have none. Because here my people are God. All of my majority are probably not the same position right now. Financially things tough. Things hard. But what we have is worth more than money. Because Lord God Almighty even if everything else should be taken away once I have my mind once I have Jesus David said take everything but don't take your spirit don't take your oil don't take your word don't take it away from me Lord God Almighty if you strip me of everything that I have the only thing that can keep me is your spirit the only thing that can sustain me is your spirit the only thing that can keep me in my right mind is the spirit of the living God the only thing that's keeping a lot of us in 2024 is the spirit of the living God
people might see you and they believe that they understand. Sometimes not even prayer. We can't pray. When the pressure and the warfare turn up, I can't even say, Lord, oh God Almighty, I can't even go down in a prayer. But when I remember something on the inside of me, the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord begin to make intercession for you and for me. Oh, Rabbi, say, tell the Shire, Iman, tell the Kuturia Shire. Lord God Almighty Church will teach you that you have to pray day and night. Yes, the Bible said man ought to pray and say not. But what if you can't find the words? All you must say, Jesus, Holy Ghost, do what only you can do. Touch me again, Lord. This moment, I feel like it's a fresh touch. I need, touch me, 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 touch me again, Lord. One more time, Lord. The Bible said that Samson was in the bed with Delilah. But he didn't even understand that she went after his weakness, man of God. She tricked him. Just like how the enemy trick a wally power. Right? They plucked out his eyes, mommy. Couldn't see no more. So sometimes all the vision, where we are dependent on, we can't see no more. Cut off in ear, where the strength did they. Couldn't manage the army them no more. Sometimes the enemy think that if he can stunt your vision and you can't see, that's it. But that's, for all, that's only for the people who depend on vision. Because the Bible says it's a foolish generation. Who just want to see, 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 see. Only want to see signs and wonders. Only want to see, but not understanding that the enemy, he is crafty. He will show you some things that will buffer your mind that you will believe. That this has to be by the spirit of the living God. And the Bible says, Samson got himself into the temple where they went to pray. And Samson prayed a prayer. Because no, this time he don't have no strength, man of God. Him ear cut off. This time him not no sight. Him can't see. Him blind. But he prayed a prayer. And him said, God, just touch me one more time. Just give me strength one more time. Some of you need to get up from the place that you have been sitting down upon your relationship with God. Some of you need to get up on the place that you've been sitting down when it comes out to your marriage. Some of you need to get up from the place of the thing that you've been sitting down. Oh God, everybody, when it comes out to your children, some of you need to get up and you need to say, God, though I'm frustrated, though I'm depressed, and I can't see, and I feel like I don't have no more strength, but if you touch me again, if you give me one more time, one more strength, one more road, one more flow, flow in me that I can do what I'm unable to do. Sorry. And the Bible says, when God touched the man of God, he felt it. I feel tonight. Let me say I pray that somebody feels strength tonight to go back up prayer. I say I pray that somebody feels strength tonight because that that that, that weird word son and that daughter that's giving your hell, that's giving your problem. You say God, my daughter. I pray tonight God will give you strength to get up and pray again. That marriage that seemed like hell is attacking it on every side, and you're just one footstep away from divorce court. You're just one footstep away of breaking up something that God has put together. But because.
because you can't see what the enemy is doing. But if you can say, God, one more time. For it's not by my might, nor by my power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. And God, I need your spirit. I dare somebody to lift your hands tonight in this crowd. And just say, Lord, I need your spirit. God, I don't need nobody to comfort my soul. I don't need nobody to rub my back. I don't need nobody to tell me that it's going to be okay. Because I know that it is well. I know that if you are on my side, it is going to be well. I know that you say you are the author and the finisher of my theater. You are the one that's writing my story. So it must be well. Lord God Almighty, touch me again. One more time. Come on, I'm giving a few people a few minutes just to say, Lord, touch me again. I want you to feel strength coming back. Change that sound for me, man of God. I want you to feel strength coming back in your inner man. I want you to grab the hand of your neighbor. And I want you to feel the Bible said that when Mary met up with Elizabeth, there was a leaping in her spirit. Oh God Almighty, in order for Samuel to know that God had touched him, something had to connect with his spirit. He must have felt something. So tonight I want you to hold on to your neighbor hand and say, Lord, touch us again. Lord, touch us again. Revive me again to pray. Ignite me again by your spirit. Set me ablaze again. For oh God Almighty, bring me back to my first love. Take me back to the place where I once found you. Lord God Almighty, ignite me again. Set me ablaze again for your glory. Jesus, Jesus, I don't want you to take that part here lightly. I don't want you to take this part lightly. But I want that you hold on to your sister, or your brother, hand. I said something must happen on the inside of you. If the Spirit of God is truly on the inside of you, something on the inside of you must be a witness to whatever He wants to do in this room tonight. To whatever he wants to do in your life tonight. Oh, Rabbi said, Telebeshanda. Touch them, God. Just another touch. 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 Just another ketora basaya. Just another touch. When I'm low in my spirit, I cry, Lord, lift me up. 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 Lift me. 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 Ketora basata. Not by my might, not by my power, but by your spirit. Lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. Hey. Hey, just a few more minutes. 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 Lord, lift me up. He kato rabashanda. He rabashanda is in him. He rabashaturia fire. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, man of God, please. He rabashato rabasaya. He da 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 basetai. Somebody just say, Lord, lift me up. Somebody just say, Lord, lift me up. Somebody just say, Lord, lift me up. Somebody just said, Lord, lift me up. 
Somebody just say, Lord, touch me. Touch me by your spirit. Touch me by your spirit. Touch me by your spirit. Flow through me. 2024 will not end the same way with my might or my power, but by your spirit. I need your spirit. I need your spirit. 